Hello, welcome. If you have never met me, my name is Megs. I am the creator of the Wheel Life blog, a blog devoted to living your best life with a physical disability. I talk all things disability, health and wellness, mindset, productivity, and organization. Um, in today's live, I thought I would talk about some of the things that I use, some of the tools that I use um, to manage my pain. Now, before I get into any of them, I've never experienced nerve pain. I know that is huge with spinal cord injuries. It is the worst thing ever. So I don't, I don't know about nerve pain. I am so sorry that people experience nerve pain because from what I've been told, from how other people describe it, it's just terrible. And I am very grateful that I don't experience that. Um, and I'm so sorry that you do. If I learn anything that can help with nerve pain, I will definitely pass it on. But the pain that I'm talking about today is just tight, overworked, stiff, sore muscles. Um, that's, the, that's the type of pain that I know. That's the type of pain that I deal with. So I hope this helps. Um, and let's just kind of get into all of the tools that I use for pain management. Now, with a couple of posts that I've put on my Instagram feed, um, I do 10 different stretches, sometimes more, every day, and that usually helps with all of my pain or makes it Man manageable makes it bearable. I'm always in pain every day of my life for the past 13 years, I have had pain. So the stretches help keep it down. Um, and then the tools that I'm showing today are the things that I use in combination uh, with the stretches to help manage and keep my pain bearable so I can be in my chair working all day every day and doing all the other things that I love to do um, I will say also before I start showing all of the tools that I have um, that I noticed when my nutrition is better my pain is down when I'm properly hydrated my pain is down so one of the first things that I would recommend outside of these tools and the stretches is to keep your sugar consumption low and keep your processed food low. So the more sugar I eat, and sometimes I eat a lot of it because I have a big sweet tooth. I love candy, I love desserts, I love sweets, I love all of it. I am learning that I have an emotional bond with those things that need to be cut, and I am working on it, but I, I binge on candy. Hi, my name is Megan and I am a sugar addict. Like seriously, um, I'm, I'm, not joke, I'm not joking. Sugar is an addiction um, and it, it's real. Um, I have that, I am aware of it, I am working on it, but in regards to pain, when I eat better, I feel better. And that's what I'm trying to um, shift my mindset into it. Um, not being an emotional attachment to food. And anyway, that will be a topic for another video. So like I mentioned, um, I do those 10 stretches every day sometimes throughout the day, depending on how bad my pain is, how stiff I feel, the activity that I've done um, the past couple of days, things like that. But these tools I also use um, when I need it. It's not every day. Um, some of these things I do in a preventative type of way. Um, so like last week I went kayaking two days in a row, kayaked a total of somewhere between eight and nine miles between the two days. Um, so after that second kayaking trip, I definitely used some of these things to help reduce the soreness and the pain that I was 
I knew I was going to feel the next day or the two days later because of all the activity that I did. Um, I, I wanted to push myself. I enjoyed pushing myself. I knew I could handle it, but I also wanted to reduce that pain as much as possible. So um, the majority of my pain is in my neck on either side. It runs across my shoulders and then down my um, shoulder blades in my back, down the whole scapular region of my back. So the first tool that I use is a gua sha scraper, scraper tool. This one happens to be rose quartz. So if you're into crystals, you know that um, rose quartz is kind of like a healing crystal, calming, all of that good stuff. So I purposely got the rose quartz because of the crystal aspect to it, but there are many different um, scraper tools out there. I got this one on Amazon. I do have all of these tools linked in my favorite page, my favorite things page on my blog. It's the very first link that you'll see on that page. Um, if you go to the link in my bio on my link tree, uh, my favorite things page is the sixth link down. Um, so the scraping tool helps bring all of the circulation to the surface, which then uh, releases the muscle. So all it, you usually do it with some lotion or massage oil or my next tool um, with it, but you just, you just scrape. Um, and if, let's see, if you scrape, ow, um, scraping is kind of like a foam rolling thing. You, you wanna love to hate it because it hurts, but it's that good hurt. If it hurts too much, if it's too painful, stop. Um, and I don't know, you can see maybe it will turn your skin red because it's bringing all of that circulation up to the surface. So don't be alarmed if you do get red scrapes. Um, when a chiropractor in the past used a tool like this on me, I was actually bruised, but it was a good thing. But he was doing it under his professional um, knowledge. So the first tool is a scraper. I love it. Um, it's really good for traveling um, since it's, you know, just this big. Um, this is the first tool that I use for pain. Hi, everyone. Um, the second tool that I use for pain is something that I learned about from my current chiropractor. Um, I just posted something about her on my feed yesterday. So shout out to Dr. Sarah Perry at Inspired Chiropractic and Wellness here in Lakewood, Ohio. If you're around the Lakewood area and are looking for a chiropractor, I would definitely recommend Inspired Chiropractic and Wellness. They have two chiropractors, two massage therapists. Dr. Melissa is the other chiropractor and she is um, certified, trained in the Chinese acupuncture practice, and they have a lot of different options there. So um, check them out. But the next tool is Sombra Warm Therapy. It's a cream. It It's kind of like a, I call it a more natural Bengay or a more natural Icy Hot, but it's, I mean, it's a cream, it's a little jelly, and it's menthol, um, it's, it smells like Bengay, it smells like Icy Hot, so if you're not into that, then you will not like this. I happen to be into it, so I really like this. But honestly, I use the Sombra and the Gua Sha scraping tool together. I will take some, I'll just take a little bit of the cream and put it on the desired area. I'm just gonna use my forearm since that's the easier, easiest. But, and then I use that all over and then just go to town scraping. It will, the menthol portion of the Sombra will get everything all nice and cool and tingly 
they call it warm therapy, but it gets you cold. Um, and I just scrape. I do this anywhere that I feel pain. With a little bit, I'm gonna go up here. Oh, that's good. Um, and that's, that's how I use that. Um, when it is cool out or if I'm already cold, which is a lot of the times because spinal cord injury, um, if you have the temperature dysregulation portion of the spinal cord injury, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so if I don't want this, excuse me, this cooling effect, I will use CBD salve. This stuff, Chris and I found in Las Vegas. How often do you put the cream on? Um, I mean, every few hours I will use it. Um, I don't know. It says not more than three to four times daily. So you can use it every day. Um, it says no more than three to four times a day. I've, I don't think I've ever used it more than twice in a day because it works for me. Um, the next day I might have to use it a couple more times, but um, yeah, you can use it up to three to four times daily. And then um, back to the CBD salve. This brand is called Green Planet. I have tried to find them online because we are almost out, um, but I can't. So I don't know, I don't know much about this company because we found them in Las Vegas. Um, this one's a 2000 milligram um, CBD salve. Um, there's a lot of other CBD salves out there. Um, Young Living has a muscle, a CBD muscle rub. I have not tried it since I still have this but I'm assuming that it's pretty similar to what this is, so that could be an option. Um, I use this when I don't want the cooling effect. Um, or if I'm like just getting ready to get into bed, I don't want this all over my sheets, I'll use this. Um, whenever the pain is a little bit worse than other days, I will gravitate towards the CBD salve over the Sombra as well. Um, Sombra and this I found on Amazon. Um, again, I have a link to my favorite things page, which has all of these tools in the link tree in my bio. CBD Salve, just research the company, make sure that it's um, a high quality CBD um, product. Chris is more of the CBD um, expert than I am. I am still learning from him, but um, this stuff is great. It, it really calms muscles, takes my pain down, um, all of that good stuff. So this is another tool that I would recommend for pain. Um, I kind of mentioned Young Living, so if you don't know, I am a Young Living distributor. Uh, I do, you know, sell the products. I don't sell. I recommend what would be beneficial, and if you don't want it, then you don't want it, and we don't have to talk about it. But the two oils that I use for pain, I carry these in my oil bag all the time. These are my two favorites specifically for muscle pain. Um, remember, essential oils do not cure. They do not, um, you know, all of that. They're just supporting me, supporting my body. Um, we cannot cure, diagnose, or anything like that with essential oils. The scraper, you can just search scraper tool and you'll get some things, but the, the Chinese, Chinese, I hope, um, word for it is gua sha, G-U-A-S-H-A, -A, I believe. G-U-A-S-H-A, -A. Um, sc scraper tool is how I found this though. Um, 
the two essential oils that I use that I love for muscle pain support. Um, the first one that I ever used was Panaway. On my Panaway bottle, I just added a roller top so I can just roll it on wherever I have pain. Since I have Sombra over here, I'll just put it here. Um, you, it, it comes with just the normal, um, dropper top. Um, you can drop a couple on your hands, rub it together, rub it on, rub it directly, or drop the oil directly onto where your pain is. Um, I chose the roller ball, um, just for easier application. You can also make your own roller out of any oil by adding a simple carrier oil, like a olive oil, vegetable oil, fraction coconut oil, so it stays liquid at room temperature, anything like that, just to make it go farther. Um, so that is one of the options for essential oils. This one's called Panaway. And then the other essential oil that I really love, especially after kayaking, um, is the deep relief roller that Young Living makes. Um, I keep both of these on hand. Some I, I don't really know what makes me go for one over the other. They both um, have wintergreen and peppermint in it. Um, the Deep Relief has a couple more um, oils in it that aid um, in calming, aid in um, tension release, things like that. Um, but everything that's in here is also in here. So it really depends on my mood, on what I grab to put on my muscles. I think both of them work comparatively the same. Um, they both, you know, have the winter green and peppermint in it. So it's still that Bengay icy hot mint menthol scent. So again, if you don't like that scent, then you probably won't like it. Um, Chris does not like Panaway, but he loves Deep Relief. So this one is a little less of that Bengay scent my arm <laughs> as i'm talking to you guys my arm is just like the sombra is just like radiating that like cooling effect so right here will not have any pain not that i was experiencing pain beforehand but i will be good to go now um it really does not take a lot of this stuff so i've had this tub for at least a year already and I've barely put a dent in it. it lasts a super long time but anyway um, there are a couple other essential oils that I did not grab that I do have um, that also will help with muscle release muscle relaxation things like that um, one of the my favorite ones is copaiba copaiba comes in a vitality oil which means that I can take it internally um, so I put Copaiba in a pill capsule every day along with a couple other um, oils that are beneficial for me um, to help with that from the inside out. Um, again, remember nutrition has a lot to do with pain. Hydration has a lot to do with pain. Um, movement has a lot to do with pain. So like I mentioned, I put a couple of um, posts on my Instagram feed about the stretches that I do every day. There, it's a two-part series, five stretches in each part. Um, so definitely check that out as well. But those um, are my first four, one, two, three, four favorites. And then my fifth favorite is my favorite, favorite tool ever. It was just recently introduced to me um, a guest two months ago now so thank you Kendra if you ever see this for this tool but it is a massage gun it it is seriously the best thing I have ever had in my life 
uh, something that I did not get out that I did that I will not talk about is a tens unit. Um, I think I've put a post or two about my tens unit on there, but that's just electrical stimulation you put on your pain site to help alleviate that. Um, maybe I'll talk about that in another video since I don't have it with me now. But the massage gun, game changer. Because of the way it's shaped, because of the long handle, I am able to get into my scapular air region on my back where all of my pain is held whenever I want to. And this attachment just comes off and it comes with all of these different things. Some of them look a little scary, but Comes with six different heads. I love this one. I have not tried this one. I have not tried this one. I don't know if I've tried the other two. I don't think I have. I mainly use these two. But you just pop these in. This one is a cheaper version of what, I, what um, my friend sent me. Um, the one that she has is like digital and it's fancier back here, but um, it charges here, comes with that plug, and then you can just turn it on. If, if you see the red lights to these different levels, and you just kind of go to town with it. Um, you just kind of go on. I mean, I just, all the time. And it feels weird when you first start doing it and your hand definitely picks up the vibrations. But this thing changed my life. <laughs> I can massage pretty much any part of my body by myself with this gun and my pain has not been high since I've gotten this. The point where it starts increasing gets to like a four, five, six, which is, you know, six or seven is what my usual level of pain was before I got this. When it starts creeping back up there, get this out, go to wherever I need it. The lower settings I will use like on my chest area because I'm forward, my chest muscles aren't lengthened. So I kind of use that to help lengthen that up higher, um, the higher settings on my back, medium-ish settings on my arms. Um, and then depending on the spot, I might need to calm it down for some different spots on my back. Um, but Chris will get this and like do my whole back um, some nights, um, other times, most, other, most of the time though, I just um, do it myself. Um, neck when you start getting around the upper neck and like the heart area I tend to take it really slow really low level um, because I I don't know if it's going to do anything so I'm new to this um, my chiropractor does use a gun like this sometimes so she and I have had conversations about it so I know I'm using it safely um, if you're unsure, um, find a professional that knows just to make sure that you're not, um, causing harm to yourself. And if it hurts, if it hurts not in a good way, stop, <laughs> just stop doing it. Um, try, find another tool to help you out with that spot. Um, if any of these causes pain I think I mean this one these are the like actual tools the rest are just creams and um, oils and stuff that I put on to help relax it but if you get these tools and it causes pain stop um, if you've ever foam rolled it's kind of like that you you will experience some like soreness tender pain but if it's too much 
if it's um, sharp stabbing, anything like that, just stop. Don't, you do not want to hurt yourself more. Um, so that's kind of all of the tools. I went through that a lot quicker than I thought I was going to, but that's okay. Um, the, the massage gun is, is my favorite. Um, I keep it out in my living room, plugged in, charging, because that's where I spend my time. Um, the rest of these things have a place um, that they go. Um, oh, this is Stress Away. Stress Away doesn't help with pain, but it does help with relaxation. Um, calming all the stresses in our life right now. Um, so, I mean, there are more oils than just for um, pain, but Panaway and Copaiba are why I started using essential oils, to be completely honest. Um, and then I learned about, actually I got Deep Relief as a free promo one month. So I got to try this and these will always be stocked in my inventory. So I hope this helps. Um, pain is never good. Pain keeps us from doing the things that we love. It keeps us from doing, um, living a high quality life. So. I hope these things help you. Um, again, I have all of these tools linked on my favorite things page under pain management tools. It's the first link that you will get to on my favorite things. And you can get to my favorite things by the link tree in my bio. It's the sixth link down. So I will have this live video um, posted on my Instagram TV um shortly after i'm done here and then i will upload this to my youtube channel as well as my blog tomorrow so um i hope this helps i've said that like 10 times but i really do hope it hope it helps um i need to figure out where to get more cbd salve salve from or um try my young living since i know that will be clean awesome quality products but we still have a little bit more to go since this um a little bit goes a long way um so yeah let's keep those happy thoughts productivity and self-care going if you need anything my dms are always open i'm always happy to help and um until next time um I don't, I just lost everything in my head. <laughs> it's almost the weekend, but um, anyway, um, until next time, live honestly, passionately, and with kindness. Bye.